Mel B's here all morning and you have got a fantastic weekend coming up because in Friday you're going to be at the LGBT Awards. I cannot wait. You know, the gay community has been so supportive to the Spice Girls and sure. all of us individually. It's nice that I can be involved in this and kind of give give back a little bit. Oh, you're going to have such a great time. Well, you were there last year. Oh, you last won an year, award. La I know. I was so chuffed. It was absolutely brilliant. And we, it's just one of those nights. It's just a massive big celebration and a really good party. What's there not to like? <laughs> sounds great. Can't sounds wait. Great. Now, look, can is happening. Yeah. Um, and obviously, it must be, I can't believe this, Mel, that it's nearly 20 years ago that you guys were there for the Spice Girls the movie. I know. How God, mad I is feel that? old. No, oh, look at us. Come in my see-through see catsuit. Oh. How dare I? You can rock a catsuit, <laughs> though. You can. God, that, I think that's absolutely remarkable that that's nearly 20 years ago. I, we we have true. such fond memories of all that stuff. Because oh. you are so busy. Because right now, over in America, you're doing America's Got Talent? Yeah. America's Got Talent. With Mr Cowell himself. With Mr Cowell himself. The yeah. big boss is on the table. But see, I really liked you in The X Factor because you said it like it was you know you didn't you, but if you liked somebody that was great and you gave them really good pointers it was constructive <laughs> criticism and oh, I think that's so. important you know that's really important because there's no point in telling somebody you can't do it that they can no there really exactly. isn't because it's exactly. not fair it's not fair in anyone I really know. really isn't do, I, would I had you, a lot of fun there's a space because Simon's the only one left all the rest of them have gone I but think, is there I a like, space I mean this happens every year where it does it's, it's, who's, you're doing right. it, who's doing it <laughs> is that person signed is that person signed who knows it's all kind of always up in the air I know and I think Simon likes it like that but I mean obviously I'd love to be part of the expert yeah. I had so much fun doing it it was really it's good. a great show but you're right he gets it gets everybody talking about it doesn't it? he's not he's not daft he's, he's known not, for doing this at is, this time of the year every time I know now this Friday the British LGBT Awards take place in London. Hosting the event is Mel B. What a ah. genius, genius booking by the LGBT organisers. I was so excited that I got that <laughs> phone call. I was like, of course I want to be involved in this. I know, it's going to be great fun. Yeah. And it's always such a good turnout, it's always such a good night. Um, I know, there's be... a lot of people coming. Graham Norton, oh, Boy George, Alan yeah. Carr. Like, oh, what's not nice to people. like? <laughs> what's not to like, Mel? It's going to be great. You're just going to have an absolute blast. You really are. It's going to be really, really good fun. As well as that, I mean, do you? How do you? How do you work it? Do you spend a lot of your time here and then in America? Is it just kind of like? Well, I come over. I come over a lot for work. Yeah, but I'm course. based in Los Angeles. Have been on and off for like the last 12, 13 yeah. years because my kids go to school of there. Of course, of course. But you then I, had, I spent a bit of time in Australia and New York. Sure. I kind of, I'm a bit of a gypsy and I like that. I know. You know Adele. Yeah. She was on stage last night and she said, if the Spice Girls reunion doesn't happen because maybe one of you don't doesn't want to do it Adele says she's up for it she'll do it oh damn that now would be that good. would work <laughs> do you think that her. would work honorary spice girl would be amazing <laughs> do you think I mean who, who's the stumbling block or do you think it will happen I mean we definitely want to do something got to do something because I mean, it's, it's a, a celebration of us still you know doing yeah, our thing 20 years is. on and still being got to do the something part of each other mm. so so we'll see what happens we're all just kind of in talks right now right and okay. it's, i had a good a nice little cup of tea with jerry and emma last night which lovely. Was lovely lovely and get yeah. kind of a catch up because yeah. you've been through so much together and now you're all mums you've got yeah. so much in common and and like we said I, I can't i'm sitting here saying to you 20 years i can't believe it love I just, 20 years. I, see I when you say 20 years i feel just old no <laughs> no 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 my daughter reminds me i'm old <laughs> i guess you know sometimes they would describe Describe your relationship as volatile, but <laughs> I was reading somewhere that your your favourite thing to do is basically he cooks and oh, you yeah. chill out. No, I'm I'm I kind of hit the jackpot with that one because I'm the yeah. worst cooker I'm with ever. You. I will burn boiling water and toast. So my husband cooks everything for the family, Fantastic. and it's all it can be either healthy or not so healthy. Does mm. a, a, an array. So I'm kind of lucky like that. And that, but that is what life is because people sometimes think that someone like yourself, you basically bounce from glamour party to glamour party, you know, guzzling champagne and <laughs> wafting around. <laughs> and it's not like that, especially when you're a mum and you've got kids, you know, it's not like that at no, all. No, I kind of go to bed a, a bit early these days, yeah. unless I'm working till late. Sure. But yeah. I love your hair. You've just been playing with it there. I know, and it's I, long. I love it's, this. It is really it's long. It's my weapon. <laughs> Watch out, Rain. <laughs> when he's annoying you, you just hit them with your hair. Whip my hair Just do that. Off. I know, like Will Smith. Well, this, is, is, this is easy. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm here for a week. I don't have to bother doing my hair. It's just in braids. It's done. God, it's brilliant. Do you know what? Because your facelift, too. It, well, makes yes. Makes you feel a little bit which younger. Is always a good, which is always a good thing. <laughs> What's not to like? What's not to like? Now, look, tell me about Prince, because very sadly it died. And, of course, inevitably, there's all this going on just now. I mean, we should just remember the man in his music to be honest mm. so he invited me to paisley park and i stayed there for like two or three days it was whilst i was on tour with the spice girls so i flew in 
and he just said, I want you to interview me. You can ask me anything you want. And I was like, oh, great, I get to ask you anything. He was like, yeah. So we just literally got the cameras rolling and we just had a really nice chat. Gosh, that, that must have been extraordinary to get to go into his life because he was so... Somebody that was that just went, valued his privacy, I guess. So, yeah, no, so much. he did. But yet, yeah. at the same time, very canny enough to know that you've got to sort of do things now and again. I mean, he's he's so iconic in his music. I mean, it's going to live on forever and ever. But he's mm. such a, an intense creative artist. But actually, mm. he was like a little kid at heart. Like when we went on his like play area that he had a swing and a slide. I was like, this is weird. <laughs> but it was so much fun. That'd be it was great. Like a kid I again. Would love that. All these things are spoiled. For, spoiled Spoiled on children, don't you think? Exactly. Things like Disneyland. Spoiled <laughs> we on kids. need it. It's for adults. It's for adults. But, but for you, I mean, you, you've talked about Prince. But for you, you know, we've talked about the, the 20 years. But people remember the Spice Girls with such huge affection because it was very much of its time. And you were pioneers. You were real pioneers, Aww. weren't you? I, I mean, I hope so. I mean, you I think for us, so. we were just five girls that thoroughly, we still do love each other, supported each other. And we had a message to empower and mm. kind of celebrate women. You know? It was much more naive back then as well. And the thing was, you, you weren't manufactured, you just no. kind of blossomed. No, well, still not. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the braids. But that's quite good. <laughs> I quite like that. I think that works really well. Mel, it is always a joy to see you. It oh, really is. Too. Have a great time at the LGBT I Awards. Will. I wish I could be there on Friday. I think it's going to be absolutely brilliant. Will you, you do my parting for me? I will. Please, please, oh, please will. do. Please do. And I would love to see you on The X Factor. Oh. Because it's like what I said, it's constructive criticism, and that's really, really important. Oh, good. Really important. Oh, thank you. So watch this space. That's all we'll see. <laughs> it's lovely to see you, Mel. Thank you so you much. Too.